In Illustrator, everything, and I mean everything, revolves around the pen tool. And this is why I've torn off this little panel. We have the pen tool for creating paths, shapes, pen plus and pen minus, which actually are now part of the pen tool itself. But the pen plus for adding an anchor point, pen minus for taking away. And what I call the corner tool or the anchor point tool, this is for creating curves and handles and playing around with the anchor points after the fact. So if I click on the pen tool and I want to draw a straight line, and if you notice on my cursor, there's an asterisk by it. The asterisk is Illustrator telling me I'm starting a, a path and it's not connecting to anything else. So click, let go, and I get this rubber band. Click, let go, click, let go. And you can see it's just joining. And when I say click, I mean press your finger on the mouse and let go immediately. And then I want to finish. I just press return on the keyboard. And now I get the asterisk back, which means I'm starting again and I'm not joining up. If I click, move, click, move, click, move, return, click, move, click, move, return. Command A or Control A on the PC, delete. And so let me show you how to create a set of straight lines. Click, click, return, click, click, return, click, click, return, and just repeat. If I want a perfectly straight line, click, hold the Shift key, and as I move the mouse, it does it in 45 degree increments. I've still got the shift key held down. Click, let go of everything, return, move. And the smart guides now pop up. And if I want the same length, I'm looking for the pink line that marries the top to where I click. Click, hold the shift key down. There's the pink line. Mouse click first let go of the shift key, press return. And I can do that once you're used to it, you get the muscle memory, bang, there you go, return, etc., etc. Now, do be aware when I say these shortcuts, you need to give yourself a little break between letting go. So for example, I go click, I'm holding the shift, my hand is off the mouse, go down, click. I now need to let go of both the mouse and the shift key, so I'll let go of the shift key first, then the mouse, or vice versa, and then return. For most things, in this case it doesn't matter, but for most things it matters which one comes first. So for example, I'll click on the rectangle tool, I'll click and drag, my hand is still on the mouse, I hold the shift key down, and the shift key is constraining me, as it did with a straight line, it's constraining me to create a perfect square. But, if I try and be clever and let go of both at once, it may not work because if I let go of the shift key first and not the mouse, you see I'm snapping to a rectangle. So when you hold the shift key down, let go of the mouse first, pause, then let go of the shift key just to make sure no mistakes happen. But this is how you can easily create shapes. And if I now click on the pen tool and I've got my square here, and if I roll over the path between the two handles, the two anchor points rather, see the little blue squares. If I click somewhere, it'll add another one. Click somewhere and it'll add another one. And then I can swap to the white arrow tool or the direct selection tool, click on one of the little anchor points, the squares, make sure it's the only one that's blue so the others are white, that means it's selected. And then I can click and drag up and I'll do the same, click and drag and I create another shape. And if I don't want that, I click on the pen tool, and if I roll over an anchor point I don't want, it goes to an anchor minus. Basically, it switches automatically to the delete anchor point tool. Now, what this means is, this is like a pair of rubber bands with a, a pin in the middle. All I'm doing is I'm keeping the rubber bands but taking the pin out. Bang, bang. Now, if I do it one more, I have a triangle. This is why there's no triangle tool, because it's very straightforward to create one just by knocking out an anchor point. So this is how you create simple shapes and edit them. The pen tool for creating things from scratch and going back to a point. Now, notice here nothing, well, this square is not selected. So Illustrator is telling me, oh, hold on, you're creating a path 
on top of this shape. So I'm not adding an anchor point. So what I need to do is click on the black arrow tool, select the item I want to play around with. There you go. Then I click on the pen tool, roll over somewhere on the path. There you go. Now I've got the anchor points. Click on the white arrow tool to edit them. And off I go. And that's how you're organizing your work, trying to work out how to create a shape from other shapes or drawing it from scratch. At the moment, though, I'm only showing you straight lines, but obviously you can do curves and I'll cover that in another video.